eight years in office has been incredibly rewarding, and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything because I think we've been able to affect some positive change in the community. Wednesday marked Winnipeg Mayor Brian Bowman's final State of the City address as he announced he would not be seeking re-election in October. Thank you for placing your trust and confidence in me twice. Bowman addressing nearly 900 people at the RBC Convention Centre, reflecting upon his time in office. There are challenges with being a municipal lead, lead, leader, but there's also tremendous opportunity to bring people together and to work collaboratively with not only other levels of government, with, with the community. In his final months as the city's 43rd mayor, Bowman says he will continue to push for an additional $1 billion in funding for Winnipeg Transit and the second phase of the North End Sewage Treatment Plant. He says it could be done before he leaves office, but if not, he'll be pushing the next mayor to prioritize the project. Bowman was asked if he would endorse any candidates to replace him. He says he wouldn't rule anything out and is encouraged by the number of candidates that have already thrown their hat in the ring. I'm looking forward to seeing the campaign commitments roll out and seeing how the candidates conduct themselves during the campaign and just encourage Winnipeggers to, to pay attention, get involved and, uh, and really, uh, really, uh, you know, be active in this. Currently, there are 10 registered candidates in the mayoral election. The list includes Jennifer Motkaluk, Scott Gillingham, Robert Falcon Ouellette, and former Manitoba Liberal leader Rana Bakari. Families Minister Rochelle Squires, who considered running, has officially bowed out of the race. We have a lot of uh, reasonably high profile candidates this year, at least people with name recognition. Um, so I think it's going to be a very interesting campaign. Aaron Moore from the U of W says Gillingham appears to be the early front runner to become the city's 44th mayor, with councillors Jeff Brawati, Marcus Chambers and Janice Lukes all endorsing him. I think the, the field's fairly wide open right now. I, I do think uh, some, you know, somebody like Scott Gillingham may have an edge at the this point in time, but I'm not sure that that's enough to carry him through to become mayor. And this still remains to be seen if um, anybody else enters the race at this point. As for Bowman's future in politics... I guess you never say never, but I have no plans to run for provincial or federal office. Ian Winnipeg, Alex Scarborough, City News.